Good morning, everybody. Wednesday morning, 8.15 a.m. I think, yeah. Life. I have to admit, I leaned on my mother's God-given talent of rhythm and dancing, and I took that rhythm and dancing in incredible meter in my mind uh, to the bass guitar. Now, I never learned music theory. I did learn the Nashville number system. But uh, I never, I have to say, I only gave music 80% at best, maybe less. But for 50 years, I learned how to read in the King James Bible at 30. And for 50 years, I've loved the Word of God over everything in my life. And I made the mistake in my first marriage, my wife was about number three or four on the totem pole. I was into music and race cars and sports. So I kind of deserved what I got, a divorce. <laughs> She'd had enough within, uh, I don't know, four to seven years. I've always hit a seven-year wall in all my marriages. No woman can handle or take any more of Bernie Bear after seven years. <laughs> and I had a good friend, Larry, tell me, you know, some people just weren't meant to be married. <laughs> I guess I'm one of them. Now, I am spending, I'm praying, listening to the Lord, now that I'm less than 50 days away from 80 years old, my time and energy is my love for the Word of God, to read it. I love to read the Word over and over and over again daily, to study it. I've learned how to study and find truth. I can make the cake, bake the cake, and eat the cake. I wish more called out beloved believers could do that. So I'm always striving to find called out saint sons. Women are saint sons. Sisters are saint sons. It's a banner of maturity. A banner of maturity is a sun saint or a saint son. There is neither male nor female in the spirit. We're all saints Saint sons and the sons means we're mature. Okay, we're not children on the milk of the word. We're sons on the meat of the word. Spiritual revelation above the line. Okay, let me read to you a little bit here. And I've been reading between the Living Bible, New American Standard, and King James. And... Uh, the uh, draw blank. I draw blank for names. The minute I try to think of a name, I go blank. I it's horrible. I've had it all my life. Ephesians, the third chapter, beginning at the fourteenth verse. For this reason, this cause, this reason, I bow my knee unto El Father El Yan, from whom the every family in heaven. And every family in earth, God has many families. Every family in heaven and on earth derive its name, authority, power, glory, light, good, truth, life. I'm not going to repeat that. That he would grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with power through the Spirit. The Spirit, the Spirit, the Spirit, the Spirit through the whole Bible. And the point I'm trying to make today is, can you think out 
side the box spiritually. The box has six sides. It's a glory box. And before it is love, in it is love, and after it is love. But there's the inside thinking and the outside thinking of the box. Did you get that one? Can you think faith, hope, and love? And the greatest of those three is the love, the agape love of God. Now, the love of God doesn't do away with understanding, but it's greater than understanding. Sometimes you got to take your wisdom, your knowledge, and your understanding that's spiritual and put the icing on the cake, put love over all of it. I read on 3.16 of Ephesians, 3.17 of Ephesians, so that Christ anointing may dwell in your heart minds through faith in Christ and that you being rooted and grounded in love may be able to comprehend with all the saints' sons, banner, what is the breadth, the length, the depth, and the height, and to know the love of Christ anointing. Now, I don't know if you can see this or not. I'm going to try to show you. See that? Looks like a cross, and it's got an arrow going through it on a 45. That's the length, the breadth, the depth, and the height. It has four points that meet in the middle of the cube or the box. Because I'm describing a cube or a box to you. Breadth, length, depth, and height. Six sides. If you think about all four words. I read on. May you get a spiritual revelation from that point. And to know the love of Christ anointing, Messiah Christ anointing, which surpasses knowledge. The love doesn't do away with knowledge, but it's greater. It surpasses spiritual knowledge and human knowledge. The E may be filled up with all the fullness of God, El Father. Now to him, Yah, him himself, ransom payment for life. Himself, ransom. Now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly beyond all that we ask or think, make your requests known unto the Lord through prayer. Ask. Gotta go. Maintenance man is here. Love you. Bye. Ask the Lord in prayer.